back again today with another video and in today's video i'm gonna be testing a bunch of hot new makeup i did go on a massive makeup shopping spree so i did haul a lot of the makeup that i am using in today's video so i decided to put a lot of it to the test and just give you guys a testing hot new makeup see from my eyes we got a little colorful again i don't know i've just been into really really colorful looks spoiler alert i was getting a lot of comments to actually film with the morphe x nayani collection which is exactly what we did i did get to use her entire collection in today's video as well so yeah i put a lot of new stuff to the test as far as like the inspo for this look you guys we are approaching festival season so you know i had to put out my little space buns or whatever and just you know get real cute i don't know i've been into little buns lately that's just been my vibe comment down below what you guys think of this makeup look i am obsessed y'all like oh man i love this one too like i don't know which one i like better this one or my lucky charms i don't know i love both of them two completely different techniques from the lucky charms video this one is a cut crease as well but it's not as like blown out and graphic this one is a lot more smoky so a different technique so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this one comment down below what videos you guys want to see next and i'll catch you guys in my next video oh yeah before you go definitely hit that subscribe button though all right bye all right beauty so let's get it jumping into voiceover so y'all already know how we do brows are ready on so the first thing i wanted to test out of course was the new jacqueline cosmetics this is her new primer oil and you guys i was super excited about this and i was obsessed with the packaging like i showed you guys in my haul and it had a little dropper on it for applicator and it made it super easy to apply now at first i was a little sus about it because i just felt like i was putting up straight oil on my skin but i definitely did see that it did blur out a little bit of my um pores and it definitely absorbed into my skin so it's not going to leave you oily and greasy it's actually going to absorb really really nicely which i like so moving on to p louise base let's get into the eyes now um and the star of the show oh yeah we're going so crazy for this eye look which i loved um i was inspired more like a hologram prism eyes i wanted it to kind of look holographic so i went ahead and did one eye off camera and girl do y'all see that cut crease though do y'all see that cut crease though sometimes you know you got to be your own hype man hype your own shit up yes bitch do your thing and now i'm gonna go ahead and make sure we tap out all those creases so for today's palette we're gonna be using the morphe x nayani palette and she is stunning this is her fierce fairy tale palette she gave us a cute little message gave us some eye looks and i love that this palette literally has like three different little sections so if you're intimidated by colorful eyeshadow palettes like this i feel like this palette is perfect for beginners because each section is kind of broken down for you so i'm going to show you guys what colors i'm using on the crease so i'm starting with that deep purple the hot pink and this really faint pastel another thing that i love about this eyeshadow palette is that she incorporated neons mattes pastels shimmers like she gave you a little bit of everything kind of like her personality so the first shade we're going in like i said was that deep purple which is the shade poise and this is going right into the entire socket of our crease so as you guys can see i like to start with my shape first so this eye um, look was more of like a rounded cut crease so i like to start with my outer corner and then you're gonna pack on that deep purple from outer corner to inner corner literally all up in that crease is gonna look messy and it's gonna look like what the hell first but trust the process and another trick that i've been doing is actually going into a pencil brush because sometimes purples can be a bit patchy or even just darker shades onto the base so i've been using a pencil brush to actually tuck right into that crease and get it really really in there so another trick that i like to use um especially if you do not have a lot of brushes so this is for all of my beginners you want to have a little towelette on hand just so that way you can switch out your colors and still use the same brush so it's a perfect technique if you do not have a lot of brushes or in this case i actually just wanted to take off all of the eyeshadow and use just use the same brush just to start my blending so now you can see that i'm just dragging up that purple and now we're going to go into a little bit of a bigger fluffy brush and the hot pink shade which this one was the shade gorgeous gangster i love this shade but it was very very dark as well so you guys are going to see that i'm actually going to use a pastel to kind of tone down this hot pink but for right now i'm just scratching right along that purple and we're going to use the sandwich method which is where you're going to put 50 percent of your brush onto that purple and 50 percent onto your bare skin to get a nice blend so now you're going to see i'm going to go into the pastel and that's how i'm going to get that really nice gradient now i will say with doing this you do have to be careful because some pastels can make your eyeshadows look chalky and ashy but in this case i felt like it just blended beautifully right on top of that hot pink so that very faint pink was the 
was the shade strange sorry and i loved it at first i thought that it wasn't going to show up but it actually did tone down that hot pink and it definitely made more of a pastel blend in my crease and i loved it so now that you got all of your um colors nice and laid out you guys know that i love to repeat my steps just so that way i make my eye looks nice and intense and everything is super pigmented everything looks blended like if it's fake sometimes a lot of people literally are like girl that shit looks like it's airbrushed but this is how you get that type of look is just going back back in with all of the same things that you already did and just repeat your steps and so everything is nice and intense so now we're ready to cut our crease and for that i'm going to use a little bit of bioderma you can use micellar water whatever you feel comfortable with just make sure that it is more of a water-based makeup remover and I'm going to take this on a cotton swab. And now my little trick here is to actually pinch my cotton swab so that way I could get a nice flat edge. But I am going to leave the other um, side round and dry. I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to start right now in my inner corner. I've been noticing that if I start my cut creases in my inner corner, I actually get a way better shape. And if you actually have very small lids like me, a lot of people always say like, how do I fit so many eyeshadows onto my very small eyes? It's basically just faking a bigger lid. So I'm I'm actually bringing that higher than I normally do just so that way when I do have my eyes open my colors are not just like falling into my crease and getting all like lost in there you're gonna see everything even when my eyes are open and closed so yeah you just want to bring it up a little bit higher than you usually do and now you can see that i'm going in with the dry side of the q-tip and just making sure that everything is nice and crisp so now i'm going into blank canvas you already know we cannot cut a crease without blank canvas and i'm doing the same exact technique with my brush i'm pinching it just to make sure everything is flat okay i want everything to be sharp as fuck so that's actually how i do that i literally pinch everything before i use it so yeah now i'm gonna go into blank canvas and like i said this um base is a lot more thicker than our p louise base so this is gonna make sure that you're gonna get a very crisp okay cut crease so fucking crisp that she's gonna cut our haters honey that's how crisp my fucking cut crease is. Like, don't even play with me. And another tip that I like to use is the tapping motion. I am not swiping my cut crease. We are not making one harsh line. No, honey. Take your time. I feel like if I tap, I actually get a way straighter line. And for this um, cut crease, we're not doing it all blown out like we did with our Lucky Charms look. For this, I'm actually just stopping halfway. So you want to just leave a little bit of space for the purple. And as you guys can see, I'm just like blending that. That way, we don't have a very harsh edge for our base as well. So now moving on to the lid, I'm going to show you guys that I'm using a lot smaller brushes. But I am going to take one of a fluffier one. I'm going to mix that deep blue with that deep purple. I felt like when I added that deep blue, it just intensified my outer corner even more. So I loved it. And it just also incorporated one more shade. And it just looked even better with that little hint of blue. I don't know. It just made all the difference. But now it's kind of like my favorite part, which is the lid shades. I'm using a mixture of neons and pastels on my lid. And that's what kind of gave us like that prism lid look. So first I'm starting off with the baby blue shade. And that's going to go right into our inner corner. Now, like everything is so blended that you actually don't even see how many shades that I used unless right now I'm actually pointing them out. So like I said, we're going in with a um, napkin or something just to, you know, switch out our shades even though I'm using the same brush because I like the shape of this brush. It was actually small enough to actually fit right there in my inner corner. But then when I went into the next shade, which was that little mint color, oh my god, this was my favorite shade out of the whole entire palette y'all know i love green this was so beautiful i will say with the pastels in this palette you definitely do have to pack them on but then when you hit it with this like lime color um this lime color was actually the shade she bad i loved it loved it I actually had a little bit of a yellow undertone and i feel like that neon pop right in the center right along the pastels is just what really did it for me for this look like it was really the little neon pop for me and then at the end, I did want to finish it off with pink, which was the um, shade, what, what, fair key? I, I don't know. But it was way too light, so I actually did have to go in with a little bit of that gorgeous gangster shade just to kind of like make my own little medium tone pink shade because I didn't want it too hot pink and I didn't want it too light neither so kind of just mix the two on the outer corner and as you guys can see i'm just tapping back and forth each shade just to make sure that every shade it's you know popping on its own making sure every shade has its star of the show we don't want any shade lost i want you guys to actually see every single shade that i put on my lid and yeah i just felt like the blend came out beautiful i love 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 this eye look so much but yeah that was pretty much it for this eye look now you just want to go in like i said just perfect your blending i like to just you know um 
work on my outer corner just a little bit just so that way that doesn't stop very harshly as well but yeah that was pretty much it for the eyes i am now just gonna pop on some liner and some lashes but yeah nothing crazy with that and that was pretty much the eye look so now moving on to the face i am now gonna go in with more of like a pore filling primer because i felt like the jaclyn hill the oil primer was just you know too slippery not that i didn't like it but i do like for something to really fill in my pores so that was just the elf putty primer and now i'm gonna go in with the new makeup forever hd skin foundation i will leave the shade number to this one in the description box but yeah this is a new foundation in sephora and i really really been loving it like i told you guys in my haul this one is more of a hd foundation which is gonna look beautiful on lights and cameras so this is kind of like my new filming foundation so um in my haul a lot of you were um leaving in the comments that you guys wanted me to actually use it in a video so even though i had it on in that video i wanted to show you what it was giving in action and as you guys can see it blends beautifully so i was dying to try the new good apple kvd foundation this one is in the shade 109 and like i told you guys in my haul it is a bit light but when i blended it out with like the little bit of leftover foundation that i had on my beauty blender it actually toned down really really nicely so i really don't even mind the bright under eye look i actually been loving the bright under eye look um, especially if you're using dark tone eyeshadows like a deep purple like this um, I do actually recommend to do a little bright under eye moment because it really does brighten the under eye and doesn't make you look like raccoon eyes especially if you have little eyes like me and as you guys can see I'm gagging over the foundation I actually really loved it at first use and then I'm gonna set that with um, this is actually not a new powder but it's new to my collection this is the Nikita Dragon Dragon Beauty translucent powder and girl I don't know where I was I know, I don't know why I haven't tried this because she was fab. So, so airbrushed. Like, I loved it. I loved it. I love when my eye, my under eyes look so smooth and I don't look like an aged woman, okay? And now to set my face, I'm using the e.l.f. Camo CC Powder. So I'm using the shade 240 to set my skin. And then I am going to go in to a deeper shade. Like I said, I will leave all the shade names to everything in the description box. And I would, um, I'm going to now go in with this one to bronze. And girl, when I tell you the formula of these were like butter. So if you actually wanted to get a deeper shade for bronzer, I highly, highly recommend it. Because do y'all see that? So smooth like it just glided right onto my foundation like everything i love this so definitely will be using this as my bronzer and i love the packaging because when i'm on the go i can really feel like it's not gonna break because it's nice and compact so yeah um had to really blend out my forehead because now that i'm looking at this footage i was like bitch you did not blend out that cream bronzer <laughs> that great so let's let's fix that but now for blush i'm gonna be taking my pro fusion this is the blush three palette and i'm gonna go into that like pinky peachy shade just for a nice pop of color on the cheeks nothing new here i didn't really have much um new like cheek products so i'm just kind of gonna like skim through this part and just kind of like pop on my highlight which is the be perfect get wet y'all already know when i do like my purple pink tone highlight um eye looks i gotta back out this highlighter like this is one of my faves do you see that yes so yeah i love colored highlighters as well but i was dying to test out the nayani collection um pencils and let me see how well yeah prima donnas know me do y'all know which one i'm gonna pick let me see let me see do y'all know which one i'm gonna pick for this eye look definitely that coral wonk oh, yes had to definitely choose that one um i felt like that one was my favorite one out of the liners and i was so impressed with these because they were so buttery and smooth they did not skip onto your waterline i hate that I do not like a dry ass pencil in my waterline. So that shit better go on like cream, okay? And I loved it. And as you guys can see, it came out true to color. It was not weird. It was not shimmery. Kind of like the Lucky Charm ones. No shade. But yeah, they were all matte and beautiful. I love them. And now just to like finish up the under eyes, I did want to drag a little bit of purple eyeshadow. Just to that outer corner. Just so that way, you know, the look looks nice and cohesive. And for that little bit of glitter, okay? I was kind of like in rave mode at this time. I was like, let me pop a little glitter on my inner corner. So this one is from ColourPop. And it had a little bit of like blue reflex in it. So I felt like it went with my inner corner perfectly and last but not least is my lips i decided to do my lips off camera because i'm gonna just do my go-to nude lip combo and you guys see me do it in like every video so i'm like let me just skip it because there's nothing new here but the last new product i'm gonna test out is the airbrush setting spray by charlotte tilbury and whenever you're using a new spray definitely test it away from your face before you put it on because it can mess up your look but nonetheless this setting spray was fab and super hydrating and it definitely made my skin glow and i gotta add my little nose cuff because you guys know i really do 
not have my nose pierced. I'm still scared, but I'm going to do it one day. Don't worry. But yeah, you guys, nose ring in, and that is the completed look. Let me go ahead and fix up my hair. You guys know I have to give y'all little space buns. Um, Let me guys know if you want a hair tutorial as well, because I know festival season is in right now. And I actually do have a few styles in mind, but nonetheless, this is the completed look. I hope you guys did enjoy this one, and I catch you on my next one. Bye.